Alright, let's get started. I've just inserted a clip into my timeline, and now I want to add some animated text message pop-ups to it. To create the chat bubble, use the rectangle tool to drag and draw a rectangle on the preview screen. Next, head over to the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't see it, don't worry, you can always access it through the Windows menu to find any missing panels. Under, Align and Transform, increase the value of the corner radius until your rectangle starts to take on that chat bubble shape. To create a triangle shape, use the pen tool and click on three points in the corner of the bubble. Let's change the background color of triangle and bubble shape to green. Now let's add some extra layers. First, I'll add the user's profile picture. We can adjust its scale and position, and then add the text message. To create outgoing messages, simply duplicate the graphic layer by holding down the Alt or Option key. Then add a new profile picture with its own left position. Also change the position of the arrow and text message. Oh, and it might be a good idea to switch up the background color for a fresh look. Now, let's nest the graphic and image layers together and give them a name. If you want to add a cool pop-up effect, head over to the Effect Controls panel and click on Motion. You'll see a blue circle anchor point. Just drag it to the center of the bubble. Next, click on the stopwatch icon beside Scale and Opacity. This will create our starting keyframe. Lower the values for scale and opacity. Then, move the playhead a few seconds ahead and set the scale and opacity value to 100 to create another keyframe. In between these two keyframes, let's set the scale to 105. To make the animation a bit faster, we'll adjust the distance between these keyframes. You can simply copy and paste the same pop-up animation for the outgoing message. Once you're done, rearrange the position of the message bubble layers. Select the first bubble message and go to the Effect Controls panel. Add keyframes for the position and for each message. Add new keyframes at the end of each old keyframe. Again, I just want to add another extra incoming message as well. For that you can go through previous process. And to ensure the animation is smooth, We'll use Ease In and Ease Out Temporal Interpolation for our starting and ending keyframes. Mm. Lastly, to enhance our effect, we can add a sound effect whenever a new pop-up message appears. And this is what you'll end up with. Mm.